on a monthly basis, you got to be careful because you could have a good month or a bad month and then you are inspired or, or panicked into do, making some action when really it was just a bad month. You know, necessarily there, there's nothing you could have changed or done differently, uh, but now you've just gotten yourself all wound up over one data point. And so that's why we tend to put a big emphasis on quarterly reporting because now you've got three months, you can see a trend of something happening back. We're gonna hit our forecast for end of the year. And we've got all of our weekly reports tied together for one master report, which then uh, we've, we've come up with a scoring system, which we've used to rank the different properties. So on a weekly basis, our properties are ranked from one to 14 and all the managers get to see where their rank is. So we've got you know complete transparency internally with the managers just to form a little bit of competition. And we also track how many weeks that they're at the different spots. And we use, uh, we set bonuses based on, on those. So we've, we've tied some compensation with just the normal competitive nature of our team to get the job done. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value. Thank you.